You, you say uh, in relating your experience in college, you, you once said, I loved logic, math, computer programming, I loved systems and logic approaches, and so I just figured out architecture is this perfect combination. Then it takes me seven years of architecture school to realize that I think like an artist. Right. What, what does it mean to think like an artist? Well, I think, I think whenever you get up, and the whole architectural training, you actually get up in front of your class, in front of critics, and you basically have to tell people why you do what you do. All the time. All the time. And in art, I think it's the exact opposite. And it doesn't mean that one's more logical than the other. We're making choices in everything we do, if we're sculpting or painting, but we're not going to attempt, and you would never dream to attempt, to delineate and explain why you're making that mark over that mark. So I think the two sides of me, and for some weird reason, I think I ended up with both, both. the left side and right side of the brain. They're, they're a little bit... For better and for worse. For better and, and for, for worse, worse, and for richer and poorer. Um, <laughs> they kind of were diametrically opposed at times. Yeah. And I'm, I'm living in fear, and I think the memorials are that in-between ground because I'm really trying to solve problems, and yet at the same time, you have to let the poetry come forward. You know, uh, Pascal once said that there are two kinds of mind, l'esprit de finesse and l'esprit de géométrie, the, the kind of finesse and ge geometry. Right. And in some sense, these two cultures came together in you. And you're, they're, they're not really fighting. They're not fighting. They're not fighting, but they're but, interested in the threshold. But there's always. like a tension. Or, yeah. I, no, I, don't, I actually don't think there's any tension. It's like, I don't know. You could say I was always interested in the boundary area between the two states, but I actually love architecture for its sort of programmatic, functional aspects. And I love art because it's the exact opposite and You've of spoken that. about them as prose and poetry. Yeah. And I, and I think the great fear, and I think what I have to balance is um, twofold. One, we've tended to live in a very, um, ever since the industrial era, we like to compartmentalize. So I was labeled as an architect, and it took me years to figure out that um, I was, they would call me much more intuitive, which I think implies like, there isn't a reason to what you're doing. I think there's just as much reason, but we're not going to speak about it. We're not going to be able to define well, we, it, delineate we, we it. Label, uh, you know, the, the labeling also happens because other people label us. It's, right. it's a mixture. Yes. You know, Napoleon once said of one of his generals, he knew everything but nothing else. 